Okay, so let's do example two. Subtract negative three-fourths minus three-fifths. Okay, first thing we want to do is get a common denominator, least common denominator. Okay, now you could count by fours and count by fives and see the first common number you get to. I'll kind of talk about a different way you could do it. Okay, another way to do a least common denominator is start with the bigger denominator, five. And just ask yourself, will four divide into five evenly? Okay, no, it won't. So take the big denominator times two. Okay, five times two is 10. Will four divide into 10 evenly? No. So then take the big denominator times three. Okay, just keep multiplying by the next number. 15, five times three is 15. Will four divide into 15 evenly? Okay, no. So then take the big denominator times four. Okay, 5 times 4 is 20. Will 4 divide into 20? Yes, it will. Okay, so 20 is it. So we're going to type in 20 for the least common denominator. It's lagging. Be patient with the Google Slides. Okay, so we need to think about what we need to do to the original fractions so that we can get 20s in the denominators, okay, with multiplication. So negative 3 fourths, we need to take 4 times 5 to get 20. If we take the bottom times 5, we've got to take the top times 5. Okay, for the second fraction, we have 5 in the denominator. We need to take 5 times 4. So we need to take the top times 4. Okay, so now let's actually do the multiplication. So the first fraction, negative. Okay, 3 times 5 is 15. And 4 times 5 is 20. In the second fraction, we have the subtraction symbol. I just went ahead and put that in there. 3 times 4 over 5 times 4. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12. And 5 times 4 is 20. The internet is really slow right now, so bear with me. Okay, so 3 times 4, 12, 5 times 4, 20. Okay, now let's write the subtraction problem on top. Okay, so just uh, look at everything but the 20s for a minute and kind of go left to right. We have a negative 15 minus 12. So I'm going to type in negative Fifteen minus twelve. Just keep the twenty the same. Now, since that is a subtraction problem, I know a lot of you could do negative fifteen minus twelve in your head. You would know what to do. But I also know a lot of you would do better if you just same change opposite to that. So negative fifteen minus twelve. I gave you a place to rewrite that by changing it to addition. So keep negative 15 the same. Change subtract to add. And then the positive 12 becomes a negative 12. And then you have a 20 on the bottom. So we have negative 15 plus negative 12 all over 20. Okay, now we're going to add the negative 15 and the negative 12 and then keep Okay, so negative 15 plus negative 12 is negative 27. 20 is on the bottom. If we have negative 27 over 20, remember if you have a negative in the numerator, you could just take that negative and put it out front. 
So I gave you a place. If you click on the right spot there, there's a place for you to put the negative symbol. And then type in the 27 over 20. And now that is the correct answer. Um, at least want you to know how to change that to a mixed number. I actually prefer one of those two answers we just wrote, but you do need to know how to change an improper fraction to a mixed number. That's improper, okay, because the 27 is bigger than the 20. Okay, so just think about this. How many times will 20 go into 27? Okay, it'll go in once. I'm going to put the negative sign, and then I'm going to put, I put that as two separate text boxes. So the negative sign, and then the one time for the 20 going into 27. And then how much do you have left over after you divide? It could be seven. So negative 27 over 20 is the same as negative 1 and 7 over 20. Okay, try the next one and use the video to make sure you're getting the numbers in the